everyone welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do language detection using media pipe in flutter app now this video will be specifically for android because as you can see language detection is only supported for android if you want to support ios as well like i have already made a video on how to do language detection using ml kit in flutter app that was both for android and ios so if you want to use ml kit you can uh, do it both for android and ios using flutter uh, so yeah, but this is using media pipe. So firstly, I'll show you guys the output So I have one button called detect language and I'm passing some hard-coded string and Once I click on detect language here, you can see it gives you the language code It does not give you the full language name So maybe you can create a JSON file and map all the language code with the languages and then get the language name So here MR stands for Marathi so firstly what you will have to do is you will have to go to the documentation over here and from this you will have to download this uh, language detection model and once you download this uh, create your flutter app go to the android folder app src main assets and inside assets you will have to drag and drop your tf light model uh, then you will have to go to settings.gradle make sure you are using 1.9.0 of kotlin version and inside build.gradle uh, make sure you are using min hdk version 24 and here i have added the media pipe task text dependency uh, next you will have to go to main.dart and here you can see i am using this home page widget so I, it is a stateful widget i have created a method channel as well as one variable and i have taken one column widget uh, inside that i have taken a text button and i am passing some hard coded string like uh, from uh, flutter side to uh, native side so this is in marathi and here once we get the language detection code i am setting it to this variable and here i am just displaying it inside our text variable next you will have to go to the android folder app src main kotlin main activity dot kt and here we have to first uh, build our language detector options builder and this name should be same whatever you have defined over here next we have created one variable for language detector and i am initializing it inside the on create method and once configure flutter engine is called we are registering our platform channel and once the detect method is called i am passing whatever you have sent from the flutter side to this detect method of language detector and with the help of uh, it uh, gives you uh, i sorry i shouldn't have named this as a result so this this is results and this is result which will help us to send data back to uh, flutter side so yeah just be careful with this so results dot language course dot get language code and i'm passing it back to the flutter side so yeah that's it that's how simple it is thank you for watching bye